kick this off with a little hip hop because my mama said knock you out. <laughs> Allow me to reintroduce myself. We were literally coming of age at the same time that hip hop was transforming music and language and culture. At The Honest Company, we are transforming what it looks like in corporate America and we're rewriting the rules. We're rewriting what it looks like and sounds like to be a CEO or a leader of any kind. Because growing up in the era of hip hop gave us permission to throw off the old rules and the old confines of tradition. So, for the next generation of game changers, I think we can all get a little wisdom and swagger from hip hop. So, in the words of hip-hop's next generation of prophets, can I kick it? Yes. Thank you. So, in the immortal words of Public Enemy, the rebels of hip-hop's golden era, don't believe the hype. People will come in your path that try to get you to believe a version of the truth regardless of what reality really is. And they will especially try to get you to believe a version of yourself, despite what you actually know. Don't believe the hype. Always remind yourself, you are wonderful. You are magnificent. And more than that, surround yourselves with people who will make you know that. And then lastly, we need you to make sure you sprinkle a little bit of your own unique magic on things, okay? It's important that you sometimes do something where no one knows what it means, but it's provocative. <laughs> Hip hop told us that disruption is key. And we need you to put your own unique spark on things to drive transformation and to drive innovation. So, from the gospel according to Missy, for my next generation of game changers, I want you to work it, put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Welcome back everyone to the Audacious Money Witch channel where we talk about investing and trading and a lot of fun things. Why Jessica Alba leaving Honest Company is great for Honest Stock. Breaking news, Jessica Alba steps down from her baby, the Honest Company, in shocking move after 12 years. Wow, I was really surprised when I saw that headline. I was actually waiting to buy more Honest shares at $3.50, but I didn't expect this to happen. I did just buy more to be completely honest. <laughs> In this video, I will first tell you what just happened, the three reasons why Jessica Alba is leaving her CCO role. The whole deal in terms of we are losing Jessica Alba's name for marketing, etc. How this is going to affect the Honest brand. And how valuable that one-on-one -on -one time is, especially since I have two jobs. <laughs> and finally, why I had the reasons to believe that Honest Company's business performance will be greater moving forward. First, what the F just happened? It's mind-blowing, this news. Jessica Alba is stepping down from the company she founded and has referred to as my baby. Three kids and two jobs. Um, I have a great support system and a great husband. And uh, I have a great team at Honest. And I love uh, everyone that I'm working with uh, on LA's Finest. After 12 years at the helm, allowing her to shift her creative energy to new endeavors. The move was announced by the 42-year-old actress on Instagram, leading many of her fans and 20 million followers of the lifestyle brand to be shocked. I am one of them. It is with a grateful heart that 12 years after founding The Honest Company, I am stepping down from my leadership role as a chief creative officer. 
She started her open letter on Tuesday, April 9th. However, I will continue to provide strategic advice through my role on the board. Well, there would never have been an easy time to make this decision. I know we have a leadership team in place with Carla Vernon at the helm to advance our founding vision and strengthen the Honest Legacy as an industry change maker. Building Honest has been a true labor of love, she continued. From the first concept book I pitched to my friends in Mommy and Me class, to ringing the bell at NASDAQ with my family by my side. This journey has been the ride of a lifetime, one that only existed in my wildest dreams. To the entire Honest team, past and present, your unwavering commitment to our mission is the fuel that keeps us going. Everyone always says you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. Thank you for allowing me to be the best version of myself. To our honest families, I'm forever grateful, she said. Reading your stories and testimonials, seeing pictures of your baby showers, monthly milestones, AM and PM routines, and everything in between. Please never stop sharing these moments with us. You are the reason that we exist. Thank you for showing me that a girl with an unconventional path in business could help lead a movement for the good. CEO Carla said, We are so thankful for all you built, Jess. Your heartbeat will always be part of Honest. As we reimagined the future of the business, we benefited greatly by having insights from our founder, Jessica Alba, a true visionary. Jessica founded Honest with a desire to bring a higher standard for clean ingredients and sustainable design for baby and personal care. Said Chief Executive Officer Carla Vernon, I offer our deep appreciation on behalf of the management team, our board of directors, and generations of Honest employees for Jessica's leadership through the years. I am pleased Jessica will remain an advisor in her role as a member of our board of directors. The Honest Company is valued at $363 million as of April 5th, 2024. Fans hit the comment section to share their views on the announcement. One wrote, oh no, I hope it doesn't change with you not running things. I love that brand. Another said, why leave? You're the reason. We love it. The reasons why Jessica Alba steps down her CCO role. Number one, family and her own life. When people do things, don't take it personal. It's mostly about what she is going through in her own life. It has nothing to do with the business in Honest. In fact, it's only because the business of Honest is so strong now that she can put her mind at ease and leave to pursue things that will actually make her happy. Elba, who shares daughters Honor and Haven, 15 and 12, with husband Cash Warren, has previously opened up about her need to spend more quality time with the kids. She also recently revealed she decided to try a joint therapy session with Honor. Honor was probably 11 and we were arguing all the time about dumb stuff and I was like, I don't want to live like this. This is not fun. I didn't want us to have a wedge between us as her mother. When I say something, she's going to hear it as an argument or as me trying to control her. I wanted there to be someone who could explain things in a way I couldn't. Elba admitted that hearing Honor's perspective in a therapy setting put her in check. The Honest Company co-founder also goes to therapy solo. I go to therapy so I can be kinder toward people I don't always agree with because I want to be happy. Elba said, I still want to coexist and I don't want to live angry irritated or upset with people who don't think like me. I want to be able to live in harmony with all. Aw, how nice. Number two, back to being a Hollywood actress. 
She is going to be focused on her Roku original shows, Honest Renovations Season 2, new MCU Fantastic Four related movies, and stars in Executive Produces the Netflix movie Trigger Warning, which is slated to premiere this summer, an upcoming sports feature Flash Before the Bang. Jessica Alba is 100% back for new MCU movies from Deadpool and Wolverine. I think she is still a Hollywood actress. Number three, Jessica Alba launches production company Lady Spitfire. After co-founding and building a leading consumer goods brands with The Honest Company, actress and entrepreneur Jessica Alba is looking to do the same in the film and TV production space with the launch of Lady Spitfire. I am thrilled that in this stage of my life and career, I get to create and build and Lady Spitfire is part of this next chapter, Alba said, reimagining and redefining how women and minorities show up in the world through great stories is my passion. I believe that my children and the next generation shouldn't have to face the same barriers as I have. Inspired by the heroes whose shoulders I humbly stand on, I feel it is at my duty to make it easier for dreams to be realized and potential to be met for women and minorities, particularly those in my community. Lady Spitfire will be wrapped by UTA, which represents Alba in all areas. Honest shares dipped 5.7% after losing Jessica Alba's name. Likeness writes, Honest said in regulatory 8K filing Tuesday that the actress Jessica Alba would step down as chief creative officer. As part of the separation agreement, the company will have to remove licensed property containing Alba's name likeness or any other attributes linked to her from packaging and online. Alba has been front and center in marketing for Honest since its founding over a decade ago. The company will also pay Alba a year of her current base salary plus a bonus and the vesting of restricted stock units. We can see from the Honest.com site and the baby clothing site they have removed Jessica Alba's pictures and names. By now, I am absolutely sure that Jessica Alba is better off leaving her role as Chief Creative Officer for the sake of Honest Company and herself. She is doing a lot of acting jobs and launching her next TV production company. Why would Honest want to continue to pay her over 750000 per year to be Honest Company CCO? I think that role would be better given to someone that actually creates consistently for the Honest Company. I think making Honest ad videos is not as exciting as starring in the next MCU movies, but someone had to do it. Honest Company is on YouTube. All of us can see there is no new content coming out for months and no new Jessica Alba Honest ad for over one year. In fact, as investors, we already know what drives the stock prices in the long term are the earnings and revenue numbers the company put out. What CEO Carla and her team did in the past two quarters shows, even without Jessica Alba's focus into creative marketing on the social media for the Honest brand. Yes, we know Jessica Alba is in fact in Toronto shooting movies and her reality shows, not in her office at Honest. The Honest company can still put out good numbers, because of the actual team that is doing the real honest work. Even when she is in office, I mean, just think about how much of a distraction there is for the chemists that are scheduled to formulate the next eye serum by the weekend. Another reason is when Jessica Alba making an honest video ad, the concept is like people have seen it for over a decade now. It's nothing new. Plus, it's obviously more of a bias ad because people know she founded the company. 
if someone else to be the chief creative officer and will do it full time like the rest of the team, it's going to be better for the Honest brand. Plus, it's not a good look for Jessica to get paid for her salary by the Honest Company and bonus while she is out somewhere starting another new TV production company and working on totally different things. I would take this as an opportunity to buy more cheaper shares.